What's up, bro? Um, this is just my little framework on how to get over a rut. So a rut being like you are either scared of change or you have lack of change and you just don't know what to do. So I have put together this like mini framework, I guess you could say. And this is why it's so important to journal is that if you are going through a rut, you'll be able to look back weeks, oh, weeks in the past and see how you were feeling at the time. And if it has not changed, that means you are, congrats, officially in a rut. So the way that I usually try and get out of this cool, is I ask myself questions because I don't have the right answer because I'm not asking the right questions. So you need to figure out what is your purpose? What is your sense of direction? And it needs to be led towards one thing. Like the masculine energy or whatever the fuck is directed towards one direction. You are pursuing one goal. That is your main focus. So you need to find out what is the current craving that you have? What are you obsessing over? What sort of freedom are you obsessing over? Are you obsessing over building that aesthetic body? Are you obsessing over intimacy? Whatever it is. This is not meant to be answered right now. This is just meant to be questions that you have for like the next week or so and you will get out of this rut and the next thing is what do you want your life to be like in 10 years pretty obvious don't miss out any details and then 15 years that is what i've done and then what direction would i need to take today what would my life need to be like today so then over the next 10 years i would actually reach that goal of having that life and then next is find out your tribe because most people are living without purpose because they do not have this sense of community. What is your tribe? Who is your tribe? And what is something that you can do for them? For example, my tribe could be this community that I've built and it's how I can... serve them better. And also any other things that you have. So I have written down in my journal about like numerous times about how much I want to disappear. Disappear meaning like literally deleting everything off my phone, actually chucking my phone in a fucking river and living like a monk for a few years and then coming back. I have that urge and it's not emotional because I know emotions change. And this is a consistent variable that I want to disappear. So the next thing is you are trying to figure out your purpose, meaning your sense of direction. You want your life to look like something. So you have an idea of what you want and what direction you need to take. So you need to look at your options, your chessboard. Hold on. Show the piece of paper. But like a huge piece of paper with all of these questions. I included another question that is just sort of irrelevant to this, but what rites of passage can I create for myself? Rite of passage meaning like a transition in your life. Whatever. On the other side, I want you to write down your options. Now, I don't want you to choose life paths. That is too complex. Meaning, oh, I date this girl, I go to this college and I get this job after college. No, fuck that. Write it down and simplify it as much as possible. For me, I've done financial, purpose, social, dating, do not. Because breakup, fuck that. So literally simplify it as much as possible. And I can guarantee within the next week, you will be out of this rut. And this is actually something that I'm going through right now. So I might as well share what I'm doing to get out of this phase. So journal out, piece of paper, flip it over, ask yourself those questions and remove all distractions. If you are distracting yourself, you will just be in this pit for longer. And once you have the answers to those questions, you now have this new sense of direction that you can pursue. And do not be scared of change. That is the last thing that I'm going to say with this video. Because change is just another way of growth. If we stayed in the gym and did the exact same workout, so we did not progressively overload, our physiques would not actually get better. Let's say I was doing hammer curls 
12 sets, three, 12 sets, three sets, 12 reps for 12.5 kgs. But I did that over a five year period. I would not be getting better because I'm not changing. You need to change in order for growth. All right. <laughs> I hope you find this valuable, bro. Peace.